Hey everybody, this is Rob Vegas and I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia and of course we're back with another movie chat and we are bringing to a close our Sam Peckinpah movie binge and of course we've covered, we haven't covered all of his films, we've only covered the ones that I've got and I haven't done them in uh, chronological order but I thought I'd say the best till last and... Well, it might not be the best, but I like it a hell of a lot. And plus, it leads us into our next... It's a good segue into the next couple of movies that we're going to be talking about. This one is the 1972 American heist thriller film called The Getaway, starring Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw. Now, I don't know if you've seen this, but I've watched it a ton. And... This is great. I mean, you've got Steve McQueen at the top of his game. You've got Sam Peckinpah also at the top of his game. And this is edited fantastically, directed wonderfully. You've got fantastic stars, a great setting, great plot, great scenario, awesome characters, and bang, boy, does it all come together for one hell of an exciting ride. So I'm really happy to talk about this one as, yeah, I really love this. This is a great movie. So Steve McQueen plays Doc McCoy, who's in a Texas prison, and that sounds pretty bad, as it is. And he's been there for uh, quite a few years. And his wife, played by Ali McGraw, Carol, um, that visits him there, and he just says, man, i got to get out of here. This place sucks. And essentially... Carol goes to see one of the businessmen who influences who and who doesn't get out of jail to get him out. And essentially this corrupt businessman that Ali McGraw goes to see says, hey, um, we can get you out of jail and everything, but you've got to do one last job, of course, as it always is, this one last job, one last shot at, you know, grabbing the trophy and all that. So Steve McQueen gets out of jail and everything, and he's like, hey, this is cool, uh, I get parole and all of that, but he's got to take part in this bank robbery organised by the corrupt businessman, and then it goes completely bad, as you'd expect, as one of the henchmen he's teamed up with uh, betrays Steve McQueen, and it all, you know, just goes arse over and tits up and all that sort of thing, and bang, Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw have to get away, hence the name of the movie, The Getaway. So all of these gangsters who organize the robbery or after Steve McQueen and you know they've got to get Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw have to get out of Dodge and get away from all these bad guys who are coming to get them and of course they're also on the run from the police as well in Texas who as um, say for example uh, Lee Harvey Oswald would know they're pretty trigger happy folk the police in Texas so, yeah, it sets the stage for an escape and, and a getaway, of course, and you get lots of action and tons of thrills as they make their way across Texas to try and get over the border to Mexico or basically get wherever the hell they can while they're still carrying the bag of the um, takings from the bank. So they've got this suitcase or like a duffel bag full of money and... Everyone's out to get them wherever they go. For example, there's a random encounter at a train station where Ali McGraw... Okay, so we're back and through some movie magic editing, <clears throat> we're continuing with our getaway review. So like I mentioned, there's adversity at every corner. Uh, Ali McGraw's character gets conned by this dude at a train station who takes the bag of money and then Steve McQueen has to deal with that and it just escalates from there and um, yeah there's a plenty of shoot ups like as I said the police get involved there are those gangsters 
and everyone is out to track down Steve McQueen and Ali McGraw and yeah, are they going to get away? Is there going to be any kind of getaway in the movie? Well, you're going to have to watch it for yourself and find out. But yeah, this one I highly recommend. There's a lot of action and suspense and the characters are really cool. Of course, you can't go wrong with Steve McQueen on the big screen. And we're going to be checking in with a few more of his movies moving forward. But yeah, this one, it's a ripper. Non-stop suspense from go to woe. Will they get away? Will, and yeah, will they won't? It's up to you to find out. So I recommend this one. It's not as bloody and gruesome as uh, some of other Sam Peckinpah's films. Uh, this one is more a suspense kind of film and it has great pace, great timing, everything and no character beats are wasted as you get to know each of the uh, antagonists and of course you stick you root for the pro protagonists in this one and they're really cool so you're gonna have a good time with this I'm going with 4.5 on the Rob Vegas movie scale and yeah recommend watching it there was also a remake of this with Alec Baldwin and Kim Basinger in the 90s that's worth checking out too as you know they pretty much remake it beat for beat as why mess with a classic so yeah no, that's always yeah that's a good one as well that's kind of fallen off the radar but you know check it out if you can but stick with the original the getaway with steve mcqueen the king of cool and the rest of the gang sam peckinpah firing on all cylinders and lots of guns firing as well in this one so if you like your action movies and just dudes being cool and lots of awesome stuff happening, you're going to have a good time. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen The Getaway with Steve McQueen or if you've seen the remake with Alec Baldwin and yeah, shout it out loud, hit us up with a good old thumbs up for a like and yeah, I will catch you soon with more movie fun. So stay tuned. Alright, cheers everybody. Cristobal says like and subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs>